Okay, there we go. Only took a few Renzo Kukens there. To oh, for f <laughs> ah, another new monster. Actually, I'd forgotten about this guy was down here. Now, one of these is annoying. Two of these together could prove a little more annoying, but uh, we'll see. They're not that hard. They're so susceptible to sleep that they shouldn't be a bother. The main difficulty about them is they're so uh, strong uh, vitality-wise. Right. I'm going to actually use you to do that and sell so wake Squallop. Because that means he's asleep now. Meaning that we have pretty much control over the battlefield. Quit says you hit that guy. Might as well get a bit of damage out if we can keep him sleeping. There we go. Keep it in the same one. Keep it asleep. Uh, now, the trick of these guys is once they reach half health, if they're awake, they're going to use Mighty Guard, which is basically a very, very powerful version of Protect. I say very, very, it's a more powerful version of Protect, which will protect them. Uh, I believe it reduces all damage by something like 75%, which can be annoying, but you can keep them asleep to the point where they won't be able to use it. Uh, I mean, you saw how easy I took that one out. This guy, one of them's got off an attack so far in a battle against two of them, and I've already got a kill. Uh, so, yeah, it's they're not difficult. You've just got to be smart about how you beat him. Ah, he's got his My Guard out. Although, technically, I do have my Dispels I drew at the top, which I can use if I want. Uh, in fact, I think I will, just to make things a bit quicker. I believe Squall's one of them. Yep. Dispel that. And he no longer has a Mighty Guard. But he is still sleeping. Or not, he is dead. He's doing a little more than sleeping. And that makes me feel like I wasted the spell there, but hey. Yeah. Those two are getting high in levels. I think they're about 20 levels higher than everybody else, actually. Um, Squall's always been the highest, just because you can't take him out of the party. And I think there's only one time you can. Uh, back in a minute. Oh no, never mind. New monster. This is a El Noil. Um, in my last video, I was actually naming these things Elverets, but Elverets are the similar but different uh, creature that we fought back in Dolit in the first disc, back in the seed, first seed mission we ever did. Uh, or the training mission, I should say. Um, these guys are fairly easy to beat. They've got, they've got some heavy physical attacks, but for the, again, they're so, so susceptible to sleep that if you've got 100 sleep on your junction to your status attack, they're not going to be a problem. And especially if you've got Renzo Kukan going. It's such a powerful uh, limit break. And there. And there. Lionheart, he's dead. No way he survives this. How many hits is Lionheart? One... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. 17 hits. At least, yeah, it's one there, and one, yes, yeah, that's the 16, and the 17 is him hitting the ground. That is such a nice attack! I love it! I absolutely love it. Uh, and as I say, you only get that attack once you get Squall's final tier weapon, the Lionheart. Aptly named, I guess, for the uh, little break. Okay. Ah, don't get stuck. <laughs> More combat. Right. Carrying on. Uh, no another battle. Alright. Here we are at the bottom. Okay. First off, before I do anything, I'm going to junction up the ability move find. To do where is it? Because there's a save point right there, and I'm going to use it. Oh god. It is so nice. It took me a heart about 
it's taken the recorder's been going on for 35 minutes so far. Uh, ever since I entered the DC re deep sea deposit uh, or deep sea research uh, center, I should say. So, whew, that took me a while to get down here. However, we're here now, and we'll get Quitsis back with strength rather than move and find. Everybody's back at full health except Squall, who I'm keeping at 12.49 for now. I may regret that. Um, it's very likely I'm going to have to repeat this battle. So I'm probably going to show you guys the first and the last battle. Uh, so my first failure and my final succeed, uh, assuming there is a final victory. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's get to it. Steam pressure 10 needed to continue operation. 10 or more has been confirmed. Continue with this operation. Yes. What's going on down here? Resuming operation. They invested so much in this facility. There must be something here. Can't wait to see what happens. What's going on? Excavation resuming. All except the leader must take shelter. Warning, please take shelter. Excavation resuming, all except the leader must take shelter. Now, why would we be required to take shelter? The rocks are resonating. The air's pretty heavy. And this is the toughest fight we have had yet. It's tougher than most of the bosses we're going to meet in the final area, in all honesty. Uh, I have never beaten it, so assuming that there's a victory by the end of this episode, it'll be something new for me. Oh, it's going to be tough. Now, if you do not have four nines of health on each character, don't bother doing this fight. There is no point whatsoever. And this attack is going to juice them by quite a bit, so both of you get healing yourselves. I need to get them both to 4 nines again before I even think about getting Squall up. Meteor, alright, they're healing themselves so that doesn't really matter. I'm pretty much countering that with their next moves. This shouldn't do enough damage to cancel out Kyriga. I'm pretty sure they'll get to 4 nines by the end of their turns. Uh, what's this? Heal yourself. Now, I could use a full life on Squall. And I am tempted, actually, considering I've got auras, I think I'm just going to use full life. Rather than keeping it at such low health, It's I think it would be stupid to do that when I've got an alternative that could work just as well. It just means I'm wasting some of my nice magic. But, it's fine. For this fight, hopefully, it won't be too much of a big deal. Oh! That is a one-hit kill, no matter what the health. It's... you are... Ca like, in this game, your health is capped out at 4 nines. If there's an attack that does 4 nines worth of damage, it's insta-kill. It's effectively death. Alright. Uh, you want to cure yourself. I need to make sure that somebody is at four nines of health at all times. Although, admittedly, now uh, quits this is. I think I also need to make sure. I think I need to get haste on Squall as well. His speed is just far too slow. Uh, there we go. What's, what's he doing? Oh, he's gonna one hit kill. Quits this again. Okay, I've not got many attacks off here, but. I'm holding my own, which right now is all I'm asking for. Uh, you heal yourself. And Squall, every hit that hits Squall, he's, he's going to counter, uh, assuming that it's a physical hit. Whew, come on. You can do this, Beanie. Zell's going to cure himself. 
Now, I think I'm going to have Quitsis throw an Aura on Squall, if she can actually get an attack off this turn. And Zell, you're going to heal Squall. Hmm. No, I need to get some attacks off, otherwise I'm not making, I'm not gaining any ground right now. So, he's going to cure Squall. He's still not at nine, uh, four nines, but that's good enough for now. Once his aura goes off, Squall should be able to get a limit break off. There we go. Ah, uh, Quake should not kill anybody. Uh, Squall's, uh, Zell's got his limit break there as well, but uh, damaging as it is, I think it's better off that he gets some cures out. If, uh, if he does his AoE right now, then it does 9998. Once he's damaged everybody, then everybody is dead. So he needs to make sure that at least somebody survives it. And Squall is going to be that somebody right now. Quit this. You're next. Although I should probably make it Zell since he's got a status on him which is going to disappear if he dies. Gravajar. I don't believe this... Oh no, this is a Meteor, not Gravajar. But, yeah. but when he does Gravajar, I don't believe you can actually kill with that spell. I believe it takes you down to one minimum. I'm fine with that, actually. It's going to be a lot easier to get Zelda full health now. Who's she going to use her Kira on herself? Cool. Although it does mean that Zell has lost his... Oh. Pretty sure... Oh no, this is one hit kill. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Okay. Squall's next turn. He needs to get a full life out. I believe that's a unique attack for this boss, for Lorenzo Kugan, which is quite nice. Yeah, that's good, that's that's fine. I'd rather him use that attack than anything else. No! That's going to kill Squall! Ah. Well, try and try again. Alright, folks, I'll be back with my successful um, fight, I guess. <laughs> See you in a... Well, for you it'll be a second. For me, I hope it's not too long. Alright, third time lucky, and I'm an idiot. Second time round, I actually beat him. But, I'd forgotten that beating him wasn't my only objective here. There is also some very nice things that you can get from uh, the ultimate weapon. Not the least of which is something that I... I... Here we go, I've got it. I have drawn Eden, which, as you can see from the achievement bullet bit pairing that, is most likely AGF. And it's probably the hardest GF, to, in fact it is the hardest GF to get in the game. So be very, uh, so it's very worth coming down here to get it, because being very hard to get likely means it's very powerful. I'll admit, I've never actually been uh, got to the point where I've used it before. Uh, I'm distracted here trying to talk. I need to get Squall Cure to full. If I focus Cures on Squall, he'll be at four nines. Uh, but yeah, last time I actually beat him, and I had to exit, and uh, it was heartbreaking. It generally was. Gen Winley was, not generally. Uh, Alright, but I'm back with Vengeance. We can do it. Uh, it proved that it can be done. Uh, the worst thing was, it was a lion heart that killed him as well. It wasn't, I wasn't even that far into the fight. I think I got two Rento Kukans off, and the second one did a lion heart, which... That's going to kill Zell from the next things. You heal him. You... Uh, get a Kyogre out on... Yeah, actually... No! Don't actually get a haste out on... Quit this. And Zell? Ooh... Zell, I'm very tempted just to let Quitsis die and then use a full life, and I think that'd probably be easier in the long run. Light Pillar, who's he using this on? Quitsis, okay. Um, uh, use it on Squall. Squall, you're going to start using your Renzo Kukan. Uh, I've calculated that it should only take eight Renzo Kukans to kill Ultimate Weapon, assuming he's on full, uh, on his max level. Which I have no clue if he is or he isn't. And that's not including any of the random hits that Squall does as his counters. But it is assuming that I get the trigger right every Renzo Kuka and I have point. Uh, I don't know the specifics of it. It may 
give or take a uh, one or two, but okay. Once Gravadrile's done, he's going to res resurrect Quixis to full life. Hopefully Squall's able to get another Renzo Kukan off, while Zell and Quixis focus on healing him. Uh, Zell, don't matter if you go down, because you're going to come back with haste anyway, since you've got auto haste. Quixis, you need to heal yourself now. Uh. Now, the other thing that he has that's quite nice, uh, other than the ultimate magic which you can draw, which is a very powerful magic and well worth drawing if you can survive long enough to kind of draw it and then defeat him. You can't just draw it and burn off. Anything like that, you do need to be able to draw it and then have an escape plan, so to speak. Um, and the escape plan being, you've got to beat him. So, I'm not going to do, do it that way. There's other ways to get Ultima, which I find are better. However, if you mug him, which I don't know if I'm going to do or not, just because I'm focusing quit says who's my mugger, on healing, uh, you can get a free stars, which I believe uh, you're going to have to use a full life. I don't know who won. Most likely uh, Zal, actually, because he'll have auto haste on. And he'll be able to do stuff quicker. Uh, do do do. Zell's down, Squall's down. Hopefully he doesn't Pillar of Light you straight after doing that, because that would be annoying. Nope, there we go. Zell's up. As long as you have two people at fairly high health, preferably one of them being at least on four nines, then you're fine. Uh, you are going to full life Squall. You are going to cure... Uh, you're going to haste yourself. I didn't realise you weren't hasted. Uh, I should also haste Squall as soon as I get to somebody's turn. Okay, Quitsis is hasted. Ooh. This is one stressful fight. <laughs> he just cannot hit Quitsis. Right. Let's have some Kyrogas. Uh, I've got Quitsis to Kyrogas herself, though. That means Kyrogas is going to be focused on her until she's at full. Could have chosen a better target, really, but hey. Once everybody's at full, I can start auroring up Squall again. Um. Not to be confused with oiling up Squall, which is something completely different. Um, don't ask me. Uh, I'll just probably just uh, just shut up now. Okay, this is fine. Quits will be on full after this Kyoga. This is only just 1,000 or so damage for each person. So Zell is getting very close to death there, so I'm actually going to heal him before Squall here. Although, he's only actually 210 away from Squall, but still. Hey. Get a Kyoga off. Another Kyrograph on Zell since it's better to focus on one person than split, really. This should still heal Zell to full, or at least it'll be close, I think. And then I can use full life on Squall from Zell. And on Quizzes next turn, she can aura up so her Squall since he'll be on full health. Okay, I think we've got a uh, semblance of some action coming up. Uh, that was going to be a semblance of a plan, but kind of changed midway, because I've had this plan the whole time, just not been able to do it. <laughs> uh, magic. Aura on Squall. Uh, might have sh possibly should have done haste first, but... Uh, Zell, haste on Squall. <laughs> just cannot hit Quitsis with that attack. Quitsis, Kyoga yourself. And Squall. You should be getting to your turn soon, so we get a Renzo Kukan off. Assuming you didn't like Pulley before that. Oh, come on. Come on, where is it? Cure Group Squall. Cure Group yourself. Why are you not using your limit breaks? There we go, Renzo Kukan. Alright. Everybody's going to be at full by the time Quiz has had her turn. Assuming that he doesn't get an attack off. Between Squall and Quixis. There we go. Lionheart. Boom! This is what killed, finished him off last time. Hopefully, it'll do the same this time. We've, we've drawn Eden, which is my main objective for fighting him in the first place. So, if this works, then we've got it. This is exactly. Worst with worst, it's only going to take another single Renzo Kukum out of four. I doubt it's going to take much more than that. Come on. Yes! Yes! Boom! First time I've ever beaten that guy. 
supposedly the hardest fight up to this point, and one of the hardest even after this point. Uh, it, well, compared to the ones after this point. Oh, blimey! He did not get off the attack that I was fearing. I don't know if it was just that I had enough health that he was abusing it. Maybe he only uses it if you don't have uh, four nines of max health. But, oh, blimey! 100 Ultima Stones. No, that would have been useful before now. Uh, Eden's card. Pretty good. I'll show it off in a minute. 100 AP. Not, not too shabby. And Eden. Now, let's have a look at what we just got, shall we? We have the final GF, who's only level 30, unfortunately, but still. She has the GF ability learning medicine. Uh, well, GF ability uh, medicine refine. Um... Uh, Mad Rush, which is quite nice. Dark Side, which is alright. Look plus 50, but most importantly, she has Hit Junction, Evasion Junction, and Speed Junction, all in one GF, which are very nice. Uh, and she has Expend times 3 as well, which is quite good. I'm going to go for this, and she'll get that very easily. Uh, just to check while I'm here. Can you learn anything new? Yes, you can. Auto Shell looks good. You pretty much uh, exhausted your options, as have you. Uh, there we go. Now, one other thing while we're here, I may as well show off the Eden card. I have decided I'm not going to collect all cards, unfortunately. I just have got to a point where I can't actually get one of the cards. I can't get the Laguna card, unfortunately, um, because I've passed the point. The, the person who you get it from has moved on, and I'm not going to spoil anything just yet. Um, but either way, uh, yeah, Eden, that's the card. And that's it for this episode. Uh, if you are doing this, just a heads up. I'm not going to show me going out on the way out, but you should know that there are no monsters in the bottom area of this uh, research centre now. But there are monsters still at the top area, but I believe Encounter Non still works on them. So, with that all said and done, and that boss... Ah, only my third try? I'm so happy about that. I'm... Ah, I am... Ah, I hope you enjoyed the episode, folks. Um, I sure did. Um, this has been Final Fantasy VIII. I've been B981, and I will catch you next time.